Welcome and thank you for taking the time to view this video introducing Module 4 of Alcoa's Leaders Toolkit for Healthy Living Workshops for Older Adults. This is the fifth in the series of seven videos that have been created to guide you through the introduction and modules of the toolkit. Module 4 is designed to increase awareness of the importance of physical activity. In it, we present ways to identify and incorporate activities into daily life to increase physical activity levels. There are also suggestions to encourage participants to continue to meet after the sixth session has wrapped up. Active living involves a broad approach to health and wellness that is incorporated into daily living. This includes feeling good about oneself and connecting with others and with the world. It also includes daily physical activity to the best of one's ability. Over the years, adults lose muscle mass and strength, placing them at risk for disability, falls, and diseases like diabetes. Risk of illness and injury increases with age, and therefore it's important to be involved and active throughout life. Age is no barrier to a healthy, active lifestyle. A person can never be too old to start becoming more physically active. The benefits of physical activity increase as the physical activity increases. We've included more information about the benefits of living actively in the Community Leaders Guidebook. As you facilitate this and the other modules, continue to encourage peer support. It's this support that can work long after the six sessions have concluded. As participants speak to their successes and challenges with achieving their goals and incorporating a daily dose activity, use their comments and observations to generate discussions surrounding what is needed to implement an action plan and to achieve goals for an active, healthy lifestyle. According to the new physical activity guidelines for older adults 65 years and older, older adults should accumulate at least 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity per week in bouts of about 10 minutes or more. We've included more information about these guidelines in our toolkit, in the Community Leaders Guidebook and in participants' passports. It's important for participants to be aware of their physical abilities and limitations before beginning any new activity. Do not hesitate to refer them to an appropriate health professional for consultation. As it states in the Canadian Physical Activity Guidelines for Older Adults 65 years and older, moderate intensity activities such as brisk walking and bicycling will cause older adults to sweat a little and breathe a little harder. Vigorous intensity activities such as cross-country skiing and swimming will cause older adults to sweat and to be out of breath. Take some time to discuss with participants what their options are depending on the available resources in their community, its associated cost, if any, and the weather. This is also an appropriate time to brainstorm ways for participants to continue to meet together as a group or to identify other friends and family who could continue on with them. Module 4 contains ideas for physical activity that require little or no equipment, for example going for a 5-10 to 10 minute walk or dancing to an upbeat song. You can also invite participants to share what they know. Someone in the class might like to lead a short ex exercise. Another option is to invite people such as a yoga or tai chi instructor or a physiotherapist from the community to come in and lead the class in a short exercise. The daily dose is one way to make physical activity part of a daily routine. For example, in this module we describe five mini exercises that participants can do while getting dressed. An important resource for this module is an eight minute video from the Canadian Centre for Activity and Aging entitled Canadian Physical Activity Guidelines for Older Adults. This video is based on the new physical activity guidelines released in 2011 by the Canadian Society for Exercise Physiology and the Public Health Agency of Canada. It is available on YouTube and the link is provided in the toolkit. We recommend showing this video to participants and to discuss its information. Thank you for taking the time to view this introduction to Module 4 of the Leaders Toolkit for Healthy Living Workshops for Older Adults. We also invite you to view our other introductory videos specific to each of the six lesson plan modules. We also have a video introduction to the Community Leaders Guidebook for you to access. 
The Active Living Coalition for Older Adults is located in Shelburne, Ontario, Canada. Our website content is available in French and English, and we also have additional resources available in Italian, Punjabi, Spanish, Simplified Chinese, and Traditional Chinese. Enjoy living actively!